power is here today, tonight, to honor Minister Malcolm X. I'm not giving no long talk. It's not needed. Number one, I'm not no scholar on Minister Malcolm. Uh, it is many, many people that could give you many details uh, better than me. But I'm just here. But no one can tell you how he has influenced me. I'm a scholar on that. How he's influenced my life, but I'm not a scholar on Malcolm. I know some things about his life, but I'm not here to give no long dissertation on Malcolm other to say, brother, we love you. And we wish you were still here because if there was ever a time we need a bold brother, a warrior, someone really true to their word is now. I wish that brother was still here. I wish he was here longer than what he was because he left here at the age of 39 way too soon. But he lived a full life, not years wise, but what he gave us with his wisdom with his wisdom, he lived a full life. Yes, brother, brother, uh, brother Michael said, peace and elevation family. Long live brother, Minister Malcolm. Yes, we love you, Minister Malcolm. And we wish you were still here. But please, for those who don't know and is not informed on his speeches that he gave, 1958 going back about police brutality, it is like he was speaking right now in some of his other uh, speeches, the ballot and the bullet. The, what I started out uh, tonight's uh, podcast with, um, who taught you to hate yourself? Who taught you to hate the color um, of your skin, the texture of your hair, uh, the broadness of your nose? Who taught you that? We know the answer. But he gave that back speech back in 1962 in the church in Los Angeles. And they were mesmerized by his words. And still today in 2018, look at these sisters running around. I hope I don't step no on no toes. But sisters, y'all are beautiful the way you are. You don't need nothing else added to you. You don't need no makeup. Uh, makeup, what are you making up for? You don't need no extra hair. You don't need nothing. You are fine just the way you are. And that's what he was talking about. Who taught you that? Who taught you that? And he gave that speech back in 1962. And some of our sisters seem to think if they don't do all this extracurricular stuff, that they ain't beautiful. But no, yes, you are. You don't need nothing. You could walk around with 10 blankets on and it's still going to be 10 brothers trailing behind you trying to get you. Now, the only question is what kind of brother? It ain't no question if, if you can get a man. It's what kind of man? And that's what Malcolm was doing. That's what the most honorable Elijah Muhammad was doing back at those times. One of the things they was doing, lifting up the black woman back to her elevated state. And you're still that. But many of our sisters don't have this kind of knowledge or they're so preoccupied with other things. They're not reaching out for it. But I'm here to tell you in the voice, not in the voice, but in the spirit of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and Minister Malcolm's whose Earth Day is tomorrow, that you are beautiful. You don't need no extra hair, no extra makeup or whatever it is they got extra for you. You are beautiful the way you are. It isn't just a physical thing. The way you walk, the way you talk, there is nothing like you. You cannot be duplicated. And you don't need nothing extra to make you beautiful. You are beautiful the way you are. That's what that speech was talking about. I see I see brother Michael X posted a um a link. Um maybe that's the speech that I'm talking about who taught you to hate yourself. Check it out. By Minister Malcolm. What a beautiful human being. And even after he made his hodge, he didn't change. He didn't change. He came back the same Malcolm, just with different concepts. He never sold us out. Malcolm could have been a millionaire if he wanted to. That's um, two things. Um, one thing that I respect about two different people who didn't agree, meaning him and uh, uh, Martin Luther King. 
I don't agree with Martin Luther King's theology, but one thing I respect about him and Malcolm was they didn't sell out our people for a dollar. Both of them could have been millionaires if they wanted to, but they stayed true to what they believed in. They didn't rise above the people who they were serving. That's what I'm trying to say about Minister Malcolm and uh, Martin Luther King. They didn't rise above the people who they served. Many preachers and stuff, they're rising above the people that they serve. How can you do that? How can you rise above the people you serve? Now, if the people you're serving is riding around in Mercedes Benz and living up on the hill, then it's cool for you to live up on the hill. But Malcolm and uh, Martin Luther King didn't do that. But we love you, Minister Malcolm, so much heart, so much courage. And even when he knew his life was on the line, he said it himself. He said, I'm a dead man walking. He still kept marching forward with what he believed at that time. Now, we can go back and forth all day. Uh, you got some people who said uh, um, um, Elijah Muhammad and Minister Malcolm had him killed. I don't know. I wasn't there. Some people say, well, he deserved it because he sold out the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I don't know. I wasn't there. I just know I love Minister Malcolm. I'm not getting in between all that because none of that's going to bring our brother back. I believe he should still be here. And I wish whatever differences he had with the most honorable Elijah Muhammad at that time. I wish, I wish, I wish they could have worked it out. Do you know how powerful that would have been? Them two still working together and us not having that division with the conscious community and the nation and all that right now. What if we all would have just stayed together? And that's the problem now. Like Al Green said, let's stay together. So all we can do at this time is those of us who are working for the same goal, which is to free our people. Let's stay together. I don't mean we got to agree on every single thing, but let's stop destroying each other on social media and every chance we get because you ain't in this person's camp and that person's camp. Now we getting on social media, a pussyfied way of handling things, now we knocking each other down on social media. What is that? What is that? And for what? And what is it getting our people? I'm really starting to question the motives of some of these people who they say that are speaking for our people. What is that? You will not find me on no social media or anything knocking another brother or sister down. I'm trying to move this 500 pound gorilla out of the way. He's the real problem. And you know who I'm talking about. Why are we destroying each other? Malcolm said it. Go back on that speech when he talked about the true history of the black man. And he said, put your religions aside. We got bigger fish to fry. He said it something like that. But if you go back in his older speeches, he said that many times about put our religion aside, put them in the closet and let's work for a common goal. He said, we got a common enemy. And some of us trying to appeal to his moral conscience. He said he has no morals or no conscience, more or less a moral conscience. That's what Malcolm was talking about. He was a real brother. Out in the streets preaching. It is no telling how many people nationwide, worldwide, this brother has touched. I don't got to go in and give a year by year analysis of his life. All you got to do is Google him. All you got to do is go on YouTube. And like I said, I'm not no Malcolm X scholar. It's plenty of people claiming that they know everything about Malcolm X. But what are we going to do with what he taught us and what he left us to reach the goal of what he wanted and many others wanted, which is to free us. That's what counts, not how much one person or the other knows about Malcolm. I know how much he's influenced my life. I know he was very instrumental in me not becoming a Negro. Ain't no telling where I would have been or how I would have ended up if I wouldn't have bumped into the teachings 
in the life of Malcolm X and the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and Minister Farrakhan. It's all wrapped up in one for me. But today we're honoring Minister Malcolm because tomorrow is his Earth Day, May 19th. I would not have come into Islam without the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and his student, Minister Malcolm X. I don't know where I'd be. Locked up? Probably, I don't know. I don't know. I have to give respect and pay honor and homage to those who have helped God. I'm not perfect, but I'm much further ahead than I would be if it wasn't for me running into Minister Malcolm in a spiritual way, of course, because I, ne of course, I never met him. He was gone long gone before I came on this earth. But he was a brave even before he took his last breath. He saw them coming. Days before he said, I'm a dead man walking. He didn't even have his security there at the Audubon room, February 21st, 65, I believe. Didn't even have his security with him. And they came and he saw him and he smiled. When they were about to put them bullets in him and his children and his wife was there and he was still brave, didn't flinch. From what I'm told, and if you watch the movie, didn't flinch and then had his one finger up with the crescent and star, meaning God is one when he took his last breath. What a brave man. A shining example of how you can change your life around. How you should never throw in the towel. In jail. He could have just gave up then. But he elevated his consciousness. Reading the dictionary. Challenging men who would want to Harvard and whatever. Pastors. Knocking them down. With no real formal education. But he had God consciousness. Which is your first education. God consciousness. He had it. But the powers of be said, there is no way we can let this man go on. He's too powerful. Remember when they called him downtown and the brother had got beaten by the police and he put his hand up? He says, no way no man should have that kind of power. Imagine if he would have kept living. In the knowledge and how he was improving and adding on to his knowledge of Islam. So he had the conscious community who respected him, the Islamic community, the youth, because he was still a young man himself. It was too many people he could have influenced. He would have changed this thing around. He had to go. And they used people who were jealous of him to get the job done, their evil job. But it's OK, because it's still a lot of Malcolm's walking around here. I'm one of them, not on his level, but I have his mindset. And I'm using things that he taught me to try to wake up the masses, including my own boys. So this is the hour of power with Brother Sharif honoring Minister Malcolm X, whose Earth Day is tomorrow, May 19th. We wish you were still here, brother, but we may not see another Malcolm. We may not see another Malcolm. We have to do it. And it is enough of us if we have the strength that he had in his pinky. If we just use it. We can make a difference. I talked about yesterday about the atrocious behavior of our children in the school system. What would Malcolm say about that? What would Malcolm say about brothers laying around and letting a woman take care of them? What would Malcolm say about that? What would Malcolm say about uh, gangs going up and down streets, murdering innocent people, our own people? What would Malcolm say about that? What would Malcolm say about a president? It's supposed to look like us be in office for eight years and do good next to nothing. What will Malcolm say about the police brutality that he foresaw over 50 years ago and he spoke about? What would he say about that? And what would he say about us posting videos of each other fighting on YouTube? What would he say? What would he say about the disrespect of our women calling our women bitches and hoes and stuff? Excuse my language. 
but it is what it is. What would he say about these things? We cannot disrespect this brother's legacy. He put his life on the line for us, him and many others. But today we're talking about men 